What's up guys, the day has arrived, the official Android 12 is here, we've got the first developer preview, Google actually laid out the full roadmap, eventually we're going to be seeing that stable version in a couple of months, but this is the beginning, we're going to talk about everything from the new look to the new features, some iOS inspiration and some stuff they took from Samsung. So let's talk about the visual changes first, Google finally brought their brand new wallpaper based theme engine, shout out to Dragon, the developer who was able to dig this out and pretty much depending on what wallpaper you use your phone will kind of match those colors no matter what color you use the ui will try to match that which is pretty cool now apart from the quick setting and the notification area this theming also applies to your settings compared to android 11 this is definitely the biggest visual change that you will see right away now without that theming engine google has done some of its own changes with the quick toggle so they have kind of a light blue color look compared to the different color we had with the Android 11. Same thing with the settings app, if you click on an option, we have this default bluish tint at the bottom and the top is white. Depending on what wallpaper you use, this part will change accordingly. Google has also added a brand new option called reduce bright color. So pretty much you can reduce the bright colors of your screen without you know changing the actual brightness. You can set up any intensity level you want and then with just one press of a button, you can have that quick dim display, especially helpful when you're reading in a dark environment you can also perform a swipe using two fingers at the bottom to turn this on and off which is also a handy quick way to enable this now as discussed in the previous leaked android 12 look video google is indeed bringing those privacy indicators just like we have seen on the ios 14 so pretty much if a certain app is using your camera or your microphone you get the indicator notification on your phone but google has gone one step ahead you can actually completely disable your camera or your microphone with just one press of a button shout out to xj developers for digging this stuff out google is definitely taking the privacy stuff really serious also google is bringing something we have seen with third-party manufacturers for quite some times like xiaomi and samsung which is a scrolling screenshot by default it is hidden as something that's going to be enabled in the upcoming developer previews speaking of screenshots google now gives you the ability to add emojis to your screenshots which is a pretty neat. Now, one thing that we see with Samsung devices is one UI, which is basically a UI that is friendly with one-handed use. All the apps and settings you see on Samsung phones, they are designed to work with one hand. Now, Google is finally giving their own one-handed mode, and when enabled, this actually looks very similar to Samsung's one UI, so pretty much all your options goes towards the middle of the display, so you can easily access them without using your other hand. Not just that, according to developers, Michelle Raymond, we also have a new iOS reachability kind of feature coming to Android 12. Basically, if you swipe at the bottom of the screen, the whole top part of the display will drop down, very similar to how it happens on iOS. So Google is kind of offering both of these two things, one from iOS and one from Samsung's One UI which is uh, pretty interesting. Now there are some new changes to the picture-in-picture -picture mode, so you can now resize this pretty easily. We already know that Google is working on conversation widgets, but they're also working on something that is very similar to iOS 14 stack widget. This is again coming via XGA developers, and uh, basically you'll be able to have like a stack of multiple widgets as a part of one widget, so you can just scroll around and see different stuff. Apple may have been late to the whole widgets game, but they definitely did some things right, which we are seeing now on the Android side as well. Now, Google also mentioned some new features that are coming with Android 12. So one of the new exciting things is that apps on Android 12 will be able to generate audio haptic feedback from the phone's vibrator. So pretty much your gaming experience will get a lot more immersive, especially racing games like Asphalt 9. Once they get updated for Android 12, you will feel and hear a lot more stuff as you're shooting around and bouncing in the cars. Also, Android 12 brings the official support for AVIF image format. This format not only sports more info compared to jpeg but it also has less storage of the same file furthermore exit developer says that we're going to see official support for ultra wide bank technology something we have seen samsung implementing on their galaxy s21 devices according to exit developers android 12 also brings sports for under display fingerprint scanners which is a sign that the upcoming pixel 6 could have a under display fingerprint scanner so that's all the good stuff with the android 12 developer preview one like i said we're going to 
see two more developer previews and then we'll see four more betas till we eventually see the final stable version let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this be sure to give it a thumbs up why not subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos and also be sure to enter my galaxy birds pro giveaway link for that is in the description with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out